In this video, I'll be talking about installing Ubuntu server. So you can install Ubuntu server on any environment, on cloud, bare metal server, or your virtualization platform. I have provided detailed video for installing Ubuntu server on Proxmox, on bare metal server, on cloud. Today, I'll be installing Ubuntu server on the Hyper-V. So Hyper-V is a great uh, way of using virtualization on Windows system because it will use the resources of your hardware to get the maximum performance. So I'll simply create a virtual machine here. So I'll click here, new and virtual machine. And before that, I'll see what are the system requirements for Ubuntu server. So I'll simply look for the documents and uh, get to know what are the system requirements here in a 64 bit intel or amd processor is required you need to have at least one gigahertz of processor one gb of ram minimum and this should be minimum 2.5 gb and of course it all depends that what exactly you want to install on top of ubuntu server whether it is your web server whether it is your application server database server or whatever so i'll be using this mainly for docker so first of all i'll configure my machine here ubuntu server so it will be for docker and here i'll be using generation 2 uh, for 64 bit and here uh, i'll choose default RAM because i'll be using docker so it is fine here i'll be connecting it to my external network to ensure that i get the internet connection and create the virtual disk i will be choosing 50 gb which will be more than enough for the purpose i'm using this for and install an operating system so i'll be choosing the iso image which is required for the installation and i'll be choosing here ubuntu 20.04 and next now finish so this is my virtual machine which is prepared right now and if you see here this is ubuntu server for docker you need to go here to settings from here security I'll disable the secure boot here. Apply and OK. Now I'll connect and start it. And now you can see here that installation process has started. So language will be English. Continue without updating the server. It is choosing the IP address from DHCP server, which is fine right now. It all depends how you want to have it. So I'll use entire disk, which is fine. I don't want to encrypt this disk because this is for test purpose so i choose my name here server will be docker all right so i'll install ssh also so that uh, i'll be able to connect it from the other machines now it asks you what exactly you want to install so i'll be installing docker container runtime and these are all of the applications for which you want to configure your server i'll be installing docker while installing the Ubuntu server. So we'll wait for the installation process to complete here. So you can see the full log here. So it will show you what exactly is being installed. All right, so after waiting for the installation, we can see here that installation has completed now. I can go here, close this option and here I can cancel update. And of course I can access it using SSH, using putty or putty, whatever you name it. Log in with my user ID and password here. Check for the IP address. The same of my network address. Logging in now 192.168.100.177. So great. I'm able to access it now. Now the Ubuntu server is installed here. And uh, I can, of course, make the settings in such a way that whether I want to start the Ubuntu server once it starts. So automatic start action so you can see here always start if uh, it was running when the service was started nothing so i want don't want to start the ubuntu server once it is stopped now the server is ready for the docker installation so i'll show you how we can install docker and start using docker on ubuntu server so see you next video take care and goodbye